Ghostbusters 2016, or Ghostbusters Answer the Call, is apparently what? the actual name of the movie. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I guess to distance itself from the original movie, or rather, the original movie to distance itself from this movie. I think this movie would have worked a lot better if it was just straight up a parody of the original Ghostbusters and not a remake. But I will get into that in a minute. Plot. Paranormal researcher Abby Yates, played by Melissa Carthy, and physicist Aaron Gilbert, played by Kristen Wiig, are trying to prove that ghosts exist in modern society. When strange things start to happen in Manhattan, Gilbert and Yates engineer Gillian Hotsman for help, played by Kate McKinnon. And also, Leslie Jones is there as Paddy Tolan. The four women prepare for an epic battle with some guy, I don't know, who wants to release thousands of ghosts into New York for some reason. They don't really establish that very well. And they have to save the world. The good. Really, the movie isn't even that bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not really that bad as many people make it out to be. It's in the same vein of any collaboration between Paul Fee, Kristen Wiig and Melissa Carthy. I think the main problem of this movie is that it's a Ghostbusters movie and carries the Ghostbusters branding and it just does not fit in that universe. I know it was trying to do something different as it's a reboot, but people have certain expectations when you reboot a franchise. And this movie also came out in 2016, just around the time that fragile men started to take female-led movies as personal attacks. Other things I like in this movie is how they test their equipment as opposed to the original team, who did not have a proper field test. They make a joke of that in the original movie, and that comedy is good. It's just occurred to me, we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. So do I. No sense worrying about it now. Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. But when you have nuclear devices strapped to your back, it's always a good idea to have a good field test. Some comedy in this movie does work. I do like Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones, but I just don't think they work very well in this movie. Kate McKinnon is my favorite actor in the movie, but even her character gets annoying after a while, as it's just non-stop jokes and nonsense, and that just kind of grates on you after a while. The bad. The main bad guy isn't very well established. Even now, I can't remember his name. He's just a guy who just shows up and wants to start releasing ghosts for revenge or something. I'm not really sure. I think I read somewhere that there's an extended edition where his origin is properly established, but I watched the theatrical version and it's not, e I don't even think it's really properly explained. I talked about how the original Ghostbusters movie had dated effects, which does add a certain charm to it, but this movie, the CGI is very overused and it looks far too fluoro and bright and doesn't suit the look and feel of a Ghostbusters movie. It all looks extremely fake. And almost every character in this movie is the funny character. In the original, I know I'm comparing it to the original a lot, I think that's what we all do. You had Egon and Ray who were more straight shooting characters, but they were funny because of their enthusiasm for ghost busting and, and being a bit socially inept. But you also had Bill Murray playing Peter Venkman who was more of the sarcastic quippy character. You had one, not all four main Ghostbusters. And Chris Hemsworth is cast fine as an attractive moron, but I think they just make him a bit too stupid. It's supposed to like parody the ditzy, silly kind of office intern that's in other movies that's usually a female, but like I, I, I get making him stupid, but they just make him too stupid in this movie. Like he can't, he doesn't realize that glass is a thing and that he can't put his hand through glass. I don't know, it's just too stupid. Do I recommend the movie? Not really. I know some people do like this movie. They do exist, they are out there. And while I don't think as it's as bad as the internet makes it out to be, it still makes a very poor Ghostbusters movie and should have been more of a parody of it and not just a straight up remake. But those are just my thoughts. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.
So even if I recommend the movie or not, you should see the movie for yourself and come up with your own opinion. You can comment your opinions in the comment section down below or let me know how my opinion is wrong. Thank you for checking out my little channel. If you enjoyed the video, you can like the video or dislike the video, subscribe and check out my other videos and social medias. There are links all around the place. As always, more videos to come. Have a good one.